At the age of 77, John Glenn will join six other astronauts aboard the Space Shuttle Discovery on a mission marked by heroism and some hype. In tonight's documentary, independent filmmakers Julian Cranin and Michael Lawrence take us on an incredible journey. Up next, the John Glenn story, a return to space on a special edition of CNN Perspectives. With the success of his orbital space flight in 1962, John Glenn launched the American space program and demonstrated to the world that Russia was not alone in space. And now, 36 years later, at the age of 77, Senator John Glenn returns as the oldest man to fly in space. The space frontier is unforgiving. It's tough, it's dangerous. In our everyday lives, we're pretty much isolated from death. So when we see people go into space, we take for granted Gee, it's just going to be like getting on a plane or getting in our car. But there's a harsh vacuum and we're traveling at tens of thousands of miles an hour with temperatures of thousands of degrees. There's very little room for error. And the astronauts know every time they get into a spaceship, there's a finite probability they may not come back. And in fact, I talked to Senator Glenn about this. Senator Glenn knows that there's a finite probability he won't come back. We always have to weigh the risk versus the rewards. You can't make progress without taking risk, because if we go indefinitely without failure, we're not pushing the boundaries hard enough. With his upcoming flight, John Glenn now looked back to his past. In 1962, space was an unknown frontier. When John Glenn entered a tiny space capsule atop a highly volatile Atlas booster, many feared he would not survive. Risking one's life is nothing new for a hero. John Glenn had already tested countless experimental high-speed aircraft and flown 149 combat missions during World War II and Korea. People in America and around the world stopped what they were doing watch this daring American reach for the stars. The words, Godspeed, John Glenn, were on the lips of millions as Glenn's capsule was thrust into space. When a problem with the spacecraft threatened catastrophe, fear and tension mounted. During the four-minute blackout of re-entry, America, and indeed the world, held its heart in its throat. John Glenn survived and became America's new hero. Unbelievable, I've spoken to some people in the, in the crowds, people who were here in 1927, 35 years ago, when they had that great parade for Colonel Lindbergh, and they tell me that it was nothing like this. They've got more people. T minus 10, 9, 8, we have a go for engine start. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Booster ignition and liftoff of the discovery with a crew of six astronaut heroes and one American legend. Five miles traveling at a speed of 2,900 miles an hour. The next event will be burnout and separation of discovery.
Discovery's twin solid rocket boosters. Houston, performance nominal. I had to call John from the mid deck to get him to get him up to the flight deck and have him look out and take a gaze at the uh, at the planet below. It, it just, I wish there were words to describe what it's like to look out the window from up here and, and not only a thrill but an emotional experience also and uh, sort of overwhelming.